Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 versus the MacBook Pro 2019. While you may think these are apples and pears, we are looking at which one you should buy with Black Friday and Christmas coming up. Don't make the wrong decision, watch the video now. If you have already made your mind up, let us know in the comment below which one you prefer. But we do awesome tech reviews, awesome unbiased tech reviews and more, but mainly awesome. Let's start with the elephant in the room and that is the price and configuration of these two devices. The Microsoft Service Laptop 3 15 inch version, you can get an 14.99 US dollars and it includes an AMD Ryzen 5 processor, 256 gigabyte SSD storage, 8 gigabyte of RAM and it's a four core machine. Whereby the MacBook Pro 2019 is a six core machine and starts at 2,399 US dollars, 16 gigabyte of RAM, has an i7 included and is 256 gigabyte of storage. And you can spec them up, right? You can spec them up all the way. And the most expensive one for the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 is the 2,899 US dollars. And that includes the Intel i7, 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD, whereby the MacBook Pro 2019 goes all the way up to 5,150, eight core, 32 gigabyte of RAM, i9 and four terabyte of SSD storage. And they do have different graphic cards. That's something we need to mention. So next we move on to the design of the two devices. And we actually personally have a clear winner. Yeah, it's the Microsoft Service Laptop 3. And it is a beautiful design, I have to say. Microsoft has really outdone themselves here, right? And when you go to the weight difference, the weight for the Microsoft Service Laptop 3 is 1,542 grams, whereby the MacBook Pro is 1,830 grams. And that's a difference of a nice external SSD storage you could carry on top of the Microsoft Service Laptop 3 and have the same weight, basically. And when it comes to build quality, we were also super impressed with the Surface Laptop 3. When it comes to the screen, the screen is much brighter on the MacBook Pro. It has 500 nits, whereby the Surface Laptop 3 has around 370 nits. In case you want to go out in bright sunlight, it does make a difference, but it's not really a deal breaker for me. But the screen on the Surface Laptop 3 actually makes up for it by being a touch screen. Yes. Which obviously we don't have in the MacBook Pro. Correct. So what about the keyboard? The keyboard is an absolute no brainer. The Surface Laptop 3 wins any day. I have never been happy with the MacBook Pro keyboards, the butterfly keys. Yeah, so we felt that the keyboard is really taking those places. If you want to write a book, it's a no brainer to choose the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. There is a difference in speakers, right? The speakers are under the keyboard, below the keyboard in the Surface Laptop 3 and the speakers are on the side on the MacBook Pro 2019. And this is a bit of a sound different if you like, but I don't know if that's that important really to people. If it's important to you, then you obviously know the sound on the Mac MacBook Pro is better. So Microsoft really improved their instant on face unlock if you like, and that is you basically open up the lid and boom, you were in. Whereby you have a touch bar and a touch screen and a fingerprint sensor on here, which is not bad, but I actually prefer the unlock face unlock right away. In terms of the touch bar, have you ever used that? <laughs> I forget that I even have one. Yeah, so the touch bar is a big no to us. In terms of ports, it has always been a biggie because the Apple and the MacBook Pro line came out in 2016 with the USB-C ports only, right? You had to have that dongle life. Dongle life. Dongle life. And the Microsoft Service Laptop 3 still has a USB-A port, right? And we noticed that when we did our unboxing video yesterday for one of our smartwatches, and we could just basically plug it in. We didn't need a dongle. That was great. It also has one USB-C port in the Surface Laptop 3, one headphone jack and the Microsoft own charger, whereby the MacBook Pro 2019 has four USB-C ports, Thunderbolt 3 ports, that is. The Surface Laptop 3 doesn't have the Thunderbolt 3. And that is important if you are a heavy user, if you want to use uh, peripherals like eGPUs. So what do you think is the use case actually for those devices? For me personally, if you are a person who is a high power creative video editing, etc., you need the MacBook Pro. It just comes with that so much boost. But if you are productive and on a day-to-day -day productive and moving around with your laptop and need portability, 
then the Surface Laptop 3 is the one for you. Yeah, so I want to make sure that you guys really make the right decision. I bought this one and it was so expensive that we had to remortgage our house. We started video editing on it. I plugged in an external eGPU and it works beautiful. We have now a stationary machine and I wish I wouldn't have spent that money because the basic version would do anything I want to do right now. I would actually choose now the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 because I don't do more than writing scripts and browsing and doing some YouTube here and then because the video editing part is on the big stationary machine. I would say one extra thing to that and that is Jens, when we were on holiday in Spain, how many videos did you boost out? We probably boosted out five videos on the MacBook Pro and that was really the use case for us then because we I took it on holiday and we did some videos video editing with c log footage with heavy log footage the rendering took all night but <laughs> it did work you can't do that on the service laptop wait no 4k editing no 8k editing in timeline forget all of that light gaming yes productivity is number one portability and productivity is the number one in fact it's fair to say I'm going to keep both. <laughs> Jens here from Alts and Space. It's only the card Thank you for watching. Peace out. Why are you so salty?